As we all impatiently wait for OpenAI to release Sora, there's two giants out there that are doing almost exactly as Sora is promising. On one side, we have Luma Labs Dream Machine, and on the other, we have Pika. In this video, I'm going to compare the two so you can see what is the best text-to-AI video generator. Now, both Luma Labs Dream Machine here and Pika essentially start and act in the same way. You type something in that you want turned into a video. However, there are some key differences between the two that really might make or break your decision of which that you ultimately want to go with. Pika, for instance, out of the gate, I love because they have an entire example library here of things that you can check out, and it gives you the prompt as well. So you could say anime, dolly in, toad, or raccoon looking at the camera. Look at this cute little raccoon. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy things. Psychedelic owl stare at the camera, right? Kind of trippy. These are kind of trippy here, so, but you can do hyper-realistic. And so let's do, also within Pika, you have a lot more initial control here. So you can choose the style, right? Black and white, natural watercolor. Let's do maybe 3D. You can turn sound effects on if you want. And there's advanced options down here as well. So we could have a panning motion, uh, rotation, zoom in and out if you want. You can change the aspect ratio. So maybe we want to make a video for TikTok. And yeah, you can have all sorts of consistency with text. You can set all of these advanced options here. Now, Dream Machine, on the other hand, is a lot less intuitive offhand. They do have this prompt guide back here as well that you can, you know, see all of the different options of what you're able to type in. I know they recently just included this. If you type in camera, for instance, it opens up this little widget box here and it shows you it can add some motion. So maybe we add camera left and I'm going to type in the exact same prompt across both of them and you let me know which you like the best. I'm going to just start with something like dark fantasy setting knight holding a sword a let's see knight holding a flaming sword and we're going to start with that and we're also going to do the same exact prompt in pika okay so firstly here is our luma labs video and this generated insanely quick like less than 3 minutes and this is a really badass video that was generated. This is perfect. It's a dark fantasy setting. His sword is on fire. Now there's a couple other things that we can do too. We can download that clip by itself or we can extend it and we can tell it to do something like behind him charges another knight with a battle axe. And then we can set it to loop if we want to. And so let's add that. It's going to extend the clip by five seconds. Now let's go over and check what Pika generated for us. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest, even though Pika had a lot more options, the results, for me at least, were not very good. So this was the first one that we had generated here. I didn't love the 3D rendering. Also, it's just super abstract, kind of. So I regenerated it and typed in hyperrealism instead. And this is also kind of really funky. And then I removed the art style altogether, and it does a little bit better of a job, but it's still very wonky. So maybe I can click upscale. And so maybe this is just too difficult of a prompt. Let's try something else. Now here's our extended clip where we said behind him charges another knight with a battle axe. And it really didn't do that. The quality of this is absolutely incredible, but it still just didn't really listen to the prompts. However, I can't really complain that much because this is absolutely incredible. Now let's try a different prompt, something like dark fantasy setting dragon. Let's do fire breathing dragon on a castle. All right, I'm going to copy the same prompt and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this over to Pika and I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to paste this prompt in here and let's see what both of them can do without any of their general settings and pre-qualifications and whatnot. Okay, here is what Pika gave us. And again, it's like infancy. It just 
is not that good. I don't know. I want to love Pika, but this is just kind of unusable out of the gate. Now on the opposite side here, Luma Labs, I mean, the quality of this is pretty crazy. So it didn't actually take the fire breathing, but it sort of made the castle on fire. Maybe it's implied, but this is just a much better clip overall, right? I mean, this is high quality. There's not much that I would change to it. You know, maybe dragon then starts flying and let's add that in. And our extension here is pretty good, but it's just not perfect. So it starts to like spread a wing here and then the dragon actually just gets a little bit distorted. So while the first clip is really incredible, the extension still needs quite a bit of work. And what I really love about Luma Labs here too is that there's pretty, it's pretty similar between the art styles here. So what I can actually do is I can start to download these videos and I can load all of these into Canva here and I can load all of these into CapCut here and begin to tell a story. So if I just add these like so, this guy in there like this, right? Now we have three initial scenes and I can take that on like, here, like so. And we have a 15 second video here. We have our main character, we have our dragon, and then we have our knight that's squaring off against the dragon, right? And so I can add music in here. I can type in dark fantasy, for instance, which is kind of a popular thing on TikTok. And now we start to have a little bit of a story. And it creates this really surreal thing. I love the possibilities of this because you can see with only in a couple of minutes, I'm able to create realistic scenes on anything that I type in. This is going to be used for music videos. This could be used to make YouTube faceless videos or TikTok videos or anything that you want. The possibilities are endless. This is democratizing access to creating incredible videos. And so so my clear winning pick here is Luma Labs Dream Machine. But let me know your thoughts if you've had several, if you've done any experimentation between Pika or Luma Labs, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite or maybe I'm missing something.